Okay, hello, this is Guava Moment playing multiplayer Terror from the Deep. I already made a joke about my guest's name in the last LP, so I'll just say hello, the casualty. Hello, Guava. Hello, everybody. Okay. Okay, so I get out of the ship here, and it's clearly on a tropical paradise of death. It's so, actually uh... set in the islands of Alaska. You'll see that in the thread, but yeah, the tropical paradise of Alaska in April. Oh, <laughs> awesome. So I'm uh, I'm moving my guys out. I figure I'm probably surrounded, uh, and I'm trying to get people into this house over here to give idea. them some uh, some good cover. And uh, I know that my tank is the best bet, so I'm gonna try and shield some guys here. I think that's a very good idea. Yeah. Now uh, I went with uh, mostly Gauss weapons with a smattering of uh, sonic cannons. I figured that the Gauss, yes, and uh, I figured the Gauss would kind of augment my firepower uh, with auto shots. Uh, I've never really liked the sonic cannons in Terror from the Deep just because of the single shot nature of them. But I do like the power, so I decided to keep a few. I like what you're doing here, um, using the tank for cover, sending a few guys to run away. I think it's a really good plan. I'm sure you also must be thinking something like, you know, I'm just going to show up and kick some ass. I'm going to show everyone just how easy it is for XCOM to win. I'm going to stomp Guava. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure, uh, you know, I'm like, oh, Guava, is, you know, he's good, but he's not this good. And, and double kill. Yeah, that was pretty terrible. You must be thinking that's BS, how you killed a guy you didn't even see. I'm sure <laughs> you're angry about that. Well, it's happened before. <laughs> Kind of annoying how the sub is a little bit transparent to some shots. There's one that went right through it. Um, there's a lot of this going on where deep ones walk up a hill, take a shot, walk down the bill and walk down the hill and hide. I cut out so much of that. Uh, this was a 52-minute video beforehand, so I had to do a lot of trimming. So some of the aliens' terms might seem a little bit seem a little bit disjointed. Yeah, you, you really could say that this mission was a bit of a quagmire for both teams. Yeah, this was the second recording we actually made. We did a, the first recording, but it was another turn two wipe. There was everything, everyone was killed except for the tank and one guy, and the casualty lifted off, and I said, no, fuck that, we're doing it again. Yeah, that was a pretty brutal massacre. Using palm tree as cover, we got some snipers up here. Yeah, I, I was fortunate to have a few guys start inside the house. Oh. The only problem is some of them have to try to pathfind their way down the stairs, and that's really annoying. But we're just going to continue shooting at the tank here for a bit. There's, there's a lot of tank shooting going on. Like, seriously, half the video was deep ones shooting at tanks, and... Oh! <laughs> Look at that, there's... Everyone oh. outside of the sub is now dead. My my cover's been completely blown, and I, I figure at this point it's time to rethink my strategy. I don't, I don't think I'm going to get anyone out of here alive. Yeah, you must be thinking, oh shit, I fucked this up, haven't I? I thought I was... I thought I was so smug, but no, I fucked this up. I, I decide I gotta turtle my guys in here. You know, kinda set up a good defense. Luckily, there's only one way in the sub. And you're kind of using the tank to block everyone I see already. Yeah, and then I figure, well, you guys are probably trying to sneak up behind me because, you know, it's kind of a narrower flank and uh, sent the tank back here to look. Found your, uh, your guy hiding behind this tree over here. I see you're just stepping out, measuring your timing, it's taking what shot you can so you can still go and hide. I'm sure you realize by now that being outside of the sub means death, so you're going to try to keep everyone in there. Oh, and then back to this. I'm, I'm really sorry, people, for this. There's, there's so much of this shooting going on. Uh, this map spawned, I think, <laughs> eight deep ones, and there's, what, seven left? And they all just shoot at this tank for, for so, so long. Yeah, I... I really uh, I can't believe the tank is uh, still alive at this point. I mean, I made you know. a stupid mistake 
back there, I was shooting the guy with the sonic cannon and not the tank. The sonic cannon is really what does the damage to the tank. I should be using that against it. Kind of silly of me. Oh, how many times have I apologized for this and we're five minutes in? <laughs> <laughs> Too many, unfortunately. It looks like you had a uh, really good uh, setup with that guy over by the uh, island heads. By the Easter Island heads, yeah. Yeah. He's he's halfway across the map. There's just shots everywhere. Luckily, I've got 250 shots with my deep ones. It might take all <laughs> of them to take out the tank, though. Yeah. Oh god, tank. Looks like your uh, your accuracy is a little below average. That that turn, at least. Now you see this guy over here, he's got a thermic lance, I think, but you focus all your fire on that. I wonder if that's really smart in retrospect. Yeah, he was pretty much the first guy I saw, and uh, I figured you were hiding your guys behind hills and trees and stuff, and I wouldn't be able to see them. Oh, clearly. And I, and I couldn't tell what he was carrying. I thought maybe that was a sonic cannon or some sort. He was just trying to whittle the uh, aliens down by attrition. Exactly, Doing just destroy can. them one by one. And then, of course, I find a deep one. No, yeah, two deep ones. And I realize, well, maybe I should shoot at those guys. Yeah, seeing the occasional guy that had some screwing up with his time units and left himself out in the open a little bit. But no, you're focusing on the gill, man. I wonder if there's a strategy to that that'll come into play later. Hint there will be. <laughs> For plot purposes, yes, but during the game I was pretty much just shooting whatever moved. And using the tank to block off the entrance. Okay, it's... T Sorry, go ahead. Oh, it's tank shooting Bonanza once again. <laughs> I knew that energy was going to be a problem for you, so I figured if I kept the door uh, contained, that you guys couldn't sneak anybody up behind me. Of course, at the rate that XCOM is killing aliens, they'll, the aliens will have plenty of time, even with low energy, to sneak up behind. It's something you're going to have to watch for. Oh, these deep ones and... All these guys with sonic pistols just seem so useless against the tank. Yeah. Now I assume that you've probably got, uh, you know, a lot of hidden movement going on that I'm not seeing here. Just, yeah, guys walking up hills, shooting, walking down hills. You don't need to see all of that, so I just cut it right out. Normally I'm a lot tighter with my, my turns that I don't need to edit them a lot, but this one was a very bad one. Yeah, well, I think you had, what, like, at least 18 to 20 uh, aliens to control? That's that's a lot of moving around, even for someone that's efficient. Well, I suppose, yeah. But going back to taking the tank out, seeing what you can see, guy way out in the open. Yeah, I've, I've never liked the, uh, the single-shot variety of tanks that uh, do no splash damage. Uh, I know in the original XCOM I almost exclusively used like the blaster tank or the rocket tank. Oh, everyone did. Yeah. And it kind of shows in this case I, I use my infantry more than the tank for shooting. I just don't trust its accuracy. But without the tank here you'd be kind of screwed, wouldn't you? This is the one case where the tank that fires direct fire is useful. A absolutely. So you're getting some kills, it's, it's going, f well, not great, but it's going well enough, as long as that tank stays out there. Pretty much, and as you can see, it's been taking quite a bit of damage, and it's only got a couple <laughs> of ticks off of the health. All those deep ones taking shots have done two damage to it so far. Yeah. Oh, I think, yeah, here you kind of mess up. C Ren is trapped in the sub with full time units, but can't really do anything. You must be thinking, oh, what the hell, I'll see if he can make a shot. Yeah, pretty much. Oh! I, I knew there was aliens out there, and he just really pulls through. That's got to feel really good, sticking it to me like that. 
I was uh, I was kind of fearing that he was going to hit uh, who was that Uranicus or whatever uh, with friendly fire. Oh, just a turn like that, just over and over. Look at all these guys. All they're doing is shooting. They're shooting the exposed rear part of the tank, but it's 130 armor on all sides. It doesn't really matter. Oh, boy. <laughs> but I, I must have forgotten that at the time. <laughs>